Well, family, we have another issue. Everything's at the wrong time, under the wrong administration. Now, Haiti is our problem. And this is a real concern. We already have migrants coming from places like Venezuela, which is already bad. Now, we have boats of Haitians migrating to the U.S. This is a concern. This is more of a concern. They just broke out a whole bunch of criminals that was in a prison in Haiti. So now you got bandits running around on the street. They caught one, they intercepted one boat that was coming from Haiti that had drugs and weapons. Family, things are they're gonna get real. Like I say, this year, it's gonna get real. Um, Haiti is worse than Venezuela. More violent. And we have sent so much money to that country that we have brought that country over and over again. And this hasn't changed anything. Now they want to all come. Luckily, the state of Florida is taking action without the federal government. God bless the governor of Florida, whoever you are. I don't know who the governor of Florida is, but he actually got balls and, and still to the plane like, hey, we need to protect our state. Forget about just protecting our borders. We need to protect our state because they know how Haitians can be. They know this is a this is a this is a problem. And once again, our administration in D.C. is just like, like, oh, because this is going to definitely going to affect the way our lives are in this nation. We have enough crime. We have enough issues. You got cities want to defund police more. They have 10 cities that are going to re that they are going to cut slash time we can make not um nine one one calls. Starting with Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. To save money. Because they can't afford to pay the officers. These cities can't afford to pay for safety. And now you're letting Haitians come in and not uh, do, not to offend Haitians. I'm not to offend you at all. I'm not saying anything against Haitians because you have some good Haitians. But listen, there's just some things you have to use your head. Okay, we don't we, we don't know who's coming over here from Haiti. Haiti is known to be ran by bandits. That's why they can't even keep a president. Matter of fact, the, their so-called president tried to land, I think uh, last week or whatever, and the bandits took control of the airport. He had to land in Puerto Rico. Not even the Dominican Republic allowed their so-called president to land in their neighbor country. And the Dominican Republic is right, it's only because it's a big island, there's only two nations there, Haiti and Dominican Republic. And not even the Dominican Republic would allow their neighbor country present to land on their soil that they had to land on put in, on our soil in Puerto Rico. What? What's going on? Family, I, like I said, this world is getting crazy. So yeah, so now, I didn't think this was going to happen. I didn't think that that was going to actually spill over to those guys getting on boats and trying to come this way. But they are. They already had, I think the estimate, they already have let in 11 million. That's a lot. We already have a lot of Haitians here in Florida. They're a big Haitian community down there. And they let in. I'm going to read Revelations chapter 3, verse 10. Because you have kept my word about patience, 
endurance. I will keep you from the hour of trial that is coming on the whole world to try those who dwell on the earth. I am coming soon. Hold fast what you have so that no one may seize your crown. So he's coming and I'll be glad. <laughs> I, you know, I, I, I didn't think I would ever say this, but it's already getting ugly now. You know, I mean, this country is being invaded by we don't know who. Now you got Haitians migrants coming in over here. That's not going to work out too well. If you know anything about Haiti, there's a reason why their country is the way that it is. It's a reason. We need to pray for America. I really think that this year is a, is a rapture. And I'm going to say I pray it is. Because what's going on, I'm already seeing things that is not good. It's not good. Crime is so bad in this city here, in New York City, that there the NYPD supposed to be the finest police force in the world after 9-11, which don't mean nothing. Can't even handle the crime in New York City that the governor had to call in the National Guard as well as the U.S. Army and other um, branch of the military to patrol the New York subways because it's that bad in New York City. The police can't even handle the crime in their own city. And now you wanna bring in some of the most violent people. And like I said, I understand what's going on in Haiti, but hey, they need to get together on their own. We can't help everybody. We got enough issues right here. Now, they just, they, they tried to, they showed it, they tried to, um, because they, they all these countries closed their embassies and they had to send flights to um, to rescue their their government employees to, to, to um, vacate the island. Guess what the Haitians did? They barbared the plane. They tried to get on the plane with the the, the diplomats and the the embassy employees. To, they that desperate. But Haiti, I mean, like I say, every country needs to protect their own right now and figure it something out right now because it's just too much. We can't take all these people, especially from there. Like I said, I have nothing against Haiti, but hey, it, it, we, it, it's going to be problems. More, it, It's going to be more violence on our streets. Haiti is worse than, I think, any country in Latin America or South America, I should say. We already let a whole bunch of people from Venezuela in. Caracas, the capital of Venezuela, Caracas, is very, 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 very bad, you know, but Haiti is worse. Those guys, oh, you know, they're over there killing people and, 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 and eating them in the street. Cannibalism. Haiti, they're doing that in Haiti. They, they're killing people and eating them in the street with machetes and they don't care over there. And now they want to come, they want to bring them here? I have a well. Hopefully, I, I'm I'm leaving Mexico next month, 
but I just feel I, I just feel for the people here because people here don't, people are going around out I'm, I'm, I'm watching people people just casually just you know la 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 it's going around they don't see what's coming on the not just the face of the earth but with America actually being under judgment and America is falling right now and now people don't see you know I'm hearing like today I told you earlier in my other video I was at a at a, at a meet, group meeting and I, I you know, it's, it's like a, uh, I like to help people and talk about the Lord and so I go to this meeting in the Bronx and um, sit there and, and just try to encourage people you know especially about Jesus. So I try to send a message about Jesus to them. Um, most of these guys, you know, ex-drug users and things like that. So I go there once a week just to influence the brothers there that um, there is a way out of this, this life you live. You don't have to live like this, you know? Um, and they, they, they see how crime is this they just robbing the, the one guy walked into a store he got caught stealing the owner came out the guy destroyed the whole store literally destroyed the whole store broke everything now that now probably that owner probably gonna, have to go lose money you know it, it, it's crazy it's crazy and It's crazy. Family, we just need to pray. We need to keep praying. I made a video about it this morning, uh, this afternoon. No matter what happens, God is still in control. God is in control no matter what. And um, we're almost out of here, family. I, I'm telling you, the, the way things are going, I mean, every day, this country deteriorates. Every day. It's not a day. We don't get a break. We don't get a break. Keep looking up. Be patient. Hold on to Jesus Christ. If anyone is watching that's not saved, that doesn't know Jesus, I pray in the name of Jesus that you do. Unheart, unhearten your heart and search for Jesus. Because I'm going to tell you something. Um, I was talking, I wasn't talking, but I was. some brothers was talking about how a lot of these rich people, their main thing now is building bunkers. That's the new thing now. And they're they selling off other assets to buy bunkers. Oh, Ukraine missile fires to Russia. Ooh, something that's popped up on my phone. Things getting ugly over there in Ukraine, especially with Russia. I'll have for another video. <laughs> yeah, it's getting crazy everywhere. So, um, but you know what? I don't know, because they know what's happening. The, the, the elite knows what's coming. But do they know that they cannot hide from God? <laughs> I laugh. God knows you cannot hide from Jesus. You cannot hide from the one that's going to, you cannot hide from the Father. The Father knows everything. He knows what, what's going on. Your bunker is going to, it's going to be your tomb. That's what they go, that, that, it's going to cave in on you. And the angels are going to pull you out of there and take you right to judgment. Or, or go most likely, to lick a fire or Hades and to judgment, I should say. You go there, go to Hades and suffer and be tormented and to judgment, then then lick a fire. But yeah, yeah, yeah. This is like 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 like. <laughs> I just laugh. Like, what are these guys thinking? They're gonna build these these things, and you know, and it's so true because. The government does have bunkers where if the pre if, if anything happens, they can immediately remove the president and they have bunkers at different locations. You know, 
uh, a buddy of mine that was a truck driver told me told me that um the government will, will buy out Walmarts, take everything out of there, put it on trucks, and take it to these mountains somewhere in the Midwest. Dump it off there. And there's so much activity right now. There's so much activity going on, like even in Brighton Beach. Like when I be filming, and you guys be hearing, they, they, there's help. They're doing. Some, they they they're preparing for something. They they always have these military helicopters flying around there for what? They never did that before. They they are they are preparing for something. Something's coming, family. I'm telling you, here in New York, do you see more military aircraft than I never seen it before? There's a lot of military aircraft around the city here. There's a few bases here. You know, you got I think you got Fort Drum, you got um a few in New Jersey, you got um I think you got uh, point something, point something. I don't know, it's up in Newburgh, like an hour and a half from here upstate. Where there's a naval base, uh naval cabin, whatever, I forgot what it's called. It's called point something. I don't know. I'm not really into the military like that, but I know they have a base and they have an Air Force base about an hour and a half from the city. And they have a few different ones around here, you know. Um, so family, we're getting close. You know, all the chaos. <laughs> it just get more and more and more intense. So have no fear, but we need to prepare. It's good to be aware of what's going on. It's good to be have knowledge, because like the Bible say, God's children perish for lack of knowledge. Right. So I just want to put that word out there that. Uh, no matter what's going on, prepare yourselves. If you can relocate, especially out of cities, and I have said this in a few videos, I think, I would do so. Because your local authorities, when things get really crazy, will not be able to help you. Hopefully, by the time that it really gets crazy, we're raptured out of here. Hopefully, if God's willing. But, to be safe, to be really safe. Um, matter of fact, come to find out that even New York City, like I think New York City, Chicago, crime have have risen eight hundred percent, eight hundred, eight hundred when it comes to gun crime. And these are the two states that has the most strictest gun laws in America, New York. I don't know about Chicago. But here in New York, they have a strict gun law. More, more, and it's more gun crime here in New York City than it is in states that, like Texas and down south, where you allow it to carry a weapon. And it's less gun crime than it is in New York City. So you, they want to confiscate guns. Um, no, they confiscating guns because it has nothing to do with, do with crime. It's because they want control. That's why states like Texas, I think Florida, refuse to give up their guns. Because as of right now, with the Constitution, we have the right to bear arms in certain states. Not all. It's supposed to be everywhere. But certain states, for some reason, can make, I guess, ride over that. Like, this one, even though some people do have guns, but they, they're many for hunting. And that's mainly in, in certain cities in New York State, like upstate New York, not in New York City. That's another thing. You could be in, we could be in the same state and every city might have its different laws, which is ridiculous. But that's the country we live in. Uh, um, but no. Um, yeah. So. Violence is on a is on a national high, and now they're allowing 
they're trying to let migrants from Haiti in? Yeah, that's going to really work out nice. That's going to work out real nice. It's going to be a disaster, family. We need to prepare. So, once again, if you can relocate away from metropolitan cities, I would do so. I would really do so because if you if you can, if you can't, then you know you can't. But um, because it's these cities are going to get affected, hit first. Whatever happens, when chaos hit, it's going to be in these cities. Especially this one, the one I'm in right now. This is why I say I'm out of here. And next month, I'm gone. I, I see where this is going to head. And like I said, it's not about fear. It's about preparing and, and removing yourself from a situation that you know is going to be ugly. You know, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't take a knife to a gun, a gunfight. Okay. <laughs> so if you know things are going to heat up, you you might want to, you know, be prepared for, you know. So like 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 God said, you know, God say flee your home, leave everything behind, go run to the go to the mountaintop, because you know they got to bring a national guard in here in New York City. The national guard had to be calling here. That's how bad it is in this city. And now you bringing in, you open the floodgates for migrants from Haiti? Okay. Family, I'm gonna pray. Heavenly Father, first of all, we give, come to you with thanks and thanksgiving. We give thanks for this wonderful day that you have granted us. We give thanks for you keeping us safe in our families and the mercy that you give us. Heavenly Father, we ask of you to bless our leaders that they, they're, they're, they're just acting in a very destructive manner. And we know that it's not them, it's the principalities that are above them that are controlling them that we do not fight against flesh and blood heavenly father we ask you to bless this nation that's what's going to that is, is is getting darker and darker by the day and we all know that america is on a judgment heavenly father but we want to intercede to give us some time give us time before you lay down the wrath that we still have work to do. We still have souls to save before the coming of your son, Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we just ask you to bless us. Bless everyone that's watching my channel. Bless their channel, bless their families, Heavenly Father. Whatever they're going through, any sickness, any anxiety, touch their hearts, take that away from them, Heavenly Father that you say all these things must come to pass, but not be alarmed, but be acknowledged and prepare and just keep looking up to Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we ask that you forgive us for any sins we might have committed willingly and unknown against your covenant. We ask for forgiveness in Jesus' name, we ask you just to bless us, keep us safe as the day wind down. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So, that's it. That's, that's what's going on. Um, I don't know how this is going to play out with this, with, with the Haitians. Like I said, we always have migrants here from, they're already doing, beating up cops and doing it, but they're doing, and you hear, you hear in New York City too, wait till the Haitians get here. You ain't see nothing yet. It's about to get ugly. 
Those guys. God help us. Jesus help us. You guys have a blessed night. Um, I help. I don't listen. I don't like always talk about doom and gloom, but this stuff cannot be ignored. Because half the stuff I can't even believe is happening. And we just need to be prepared and ready. Because I know this is going to have a lot of anxiety on a lot of people. Trust me. a lot people Because a lot of people are going to be affected. There's going to be a lot of victims involved in them coming over here. Robberies and, and, and rapists. They let all those go. They, they just let, literally let all those people out of prison, the the, the gangs that run that island, because the gangs control that island. They, 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 they don't even have a, have a, a, a don't, can't even keep their own island occupied. The gangs run it. They, it's, it's basically a lawless country. I just told you that their own so-called president can even land in their own country. <laughs> that should tell you a lot right there. And now they want them over here? God bless everyone. You want to have a wonderful night? Be safe. Be safe. Be safe. Keep your family safe. I love you. You guys are wonderful. Good night.